Northwest Senate Russ Feingold campaigning this weekend in Northeast Wisconsin. He announced last May his plans to run against incumbent Republican Senator Ron Johnson in a race that's gaining big national attention before November's election. NBC26's Billy Wagnes has the latest from the campaign trail. On a sunny afternoon in Fond du Lac. There's a lot of interest in it, so it brings a lot of people out. Dozens of Wisconsin voters are eager to share their concerns with the Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate. Taking care of uh, people's needs who are uh, on Medicare and Social Security and education. Voters like Terrence Gaffney, who is fighting for affordable health care as he and a close friend both battle cancer. If we didn't have the Affordable Care Act, he'd be dead because he never would have been able to afford any of the treatments that are required. And mine, just for this opportunity, is 21000 a month. In our state, we've lost uh, 75,000 manufacturing jobs since NAFTA. For contender Russ Feingold, a major focus for his campaign is job growth and boosting the state's middle class. Even if you have a job, it's very hard to make ends meet. And they point to the fact that there's this economic recovery for those at the top, and it hasn't really helped a lot of other people. Republican Senator Ron Johnson is also working hard to connect with that same demographic, touring all 72 counties to promote helping the private sector economy in creating jobs. In an official statement, Johnson's campaign spokespeople say the senator, quote, supports getting government spending under control, enacting pro-growth tax reform, and removing burdensome regulations. But as far as who is resonating with voters to date, according to the latest Marquette Law School poll, Feingold is supported by 50% of registered voters, while Senator Johnson's support is at 37%. Keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC26. Senator Ron Johnson says he's not swayed by the latest poll and was in Door County this weekend promoting job growth at a small business in Sturgeon Bay. His campaign spokespeople say he'll be back in the Green Bay area later this week. Well, early 